Hey, it's great to be with you again today. Um, how are you doing uh, as we move halfway through February 2022? How are we doing? Um, it is um, hard sometimes, I think, as we look at the news, and we need to be careful that we don't get so wrapped up in the news that it consumes us, right? Because, uh, you know, you look at it and there's the pandemic is still going on, although it looks like it's easing up a little bit. But there's all kinds of things going on in this world, right? I mean, we're sitting here looking at Russia on the border of Ukraine and there's a possible invasion and our troops and NATO troops are moving into position in Europe and there's still all kinds of unrest in the Mideast. You know, Syria is a mess. Iran still has... Uh, plutonium and is looking at uh, nuclear weapons. North uh, Korea has, right, they've got nuclear weapons and they're constantly posturing. China is talking about invading Taiwan and there is all kinds of unrest in our world. And if we focus on that unrest, there are, there are times that it may, be, it may be easy to be hopeless, to have a sense of hopelessness in our lives. And there are always times when maybe maybe we need to get down on our knees and pray about things. I mean, in the New Testament, Mary and Martha uh, had a brother named Lazarus, and he was one of Jesus' best friends. I mean, these, this family was tight with Jesus, and Lazarus got sick, and they sent for Jesus to say, hey, can you get to the house, because Lazarus is really sick, and Jesus said, okay, I'll, I'll come, but he waited another couple days before he left, right? And on the way there, Lazarus, he died. And Jesus comes up and Mary and Martha are heartbroken and they're crying and they're grieving and mourning and, and they don't know what to say. And, and Jesus says, listen, I came here for a reason and you're going to see that my timing is perfect. Everything that I'm about to do and what I have let happen is all for God's glory. And, they, and he says to Mary, Mary and Martha, he says, hey, man, I want you to roll the stone away from the tomb where Lazarus is buried. And they're like, no, man, he's been in there two days. He is going to stink. It's going to be bad. I don't think we ought to do that, Jesus. And Jesus said, what did I just say? Roll away the stone. And they rolled the stone away. And Jesus walked up and he prayed. And he says, God, I'm going to do something awesome. And I'm praying this prayer right now so everybody knows that you are an awesome God. And he said, Lazarus, come out. And Lazarus walked out, wrapped in the grave cloths that they had buried him in two, year, two days before. And it was unbelievable. People were freaking out, right? And I look at that, Mary and Martha were hopeless. Their brother was dead in the grave. And Jesus still came through and did an incredible thing for them. God does incredible things even today. Even in the midst of times when it looks like there is no hope, God is our hope. We need to put all of our hope in him. And when we do, hopelessness disappears. May God continue to pour out his grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us. Until we get to meet again, amen? Amen.